Well, good evening, everyone. I thought I would come on. I'm feeling pretty good today, so I decided to make some dinner. I'm going to be making a tuna casserole. So I just wanted to bring you on. My wonderful husband helped me get everything set up. Um, I love him unconditionally and appreciate everything about that man. He is just wonderful. Um, for my ingredients for the tuna casserole, I'm going to be using some of the Thrive herbs and I love this chef's blend um, it has a lot of flavor some ope accent uh, mozzarella cheese some cream of celery and some thrives onions the chopped onions um, I'm going to be using a tablespoon of the Lipton onion soup and some mixed vegetables that I made the other day um, and you know you can tweak this to whatever size you're going to make i am using um four or six of the four ounce um star kiss tuna um they had a good deal on these at sam's club a while ago and i bought some um and i'm going to be putting in a third of a cup of the uh chopped onions so i am going to go ahead and just start everything and get everything all dumped into my pot there and I will bring you guys back. Hey guys, <clears throat> just wanted to bring you back on real quick uh, to let you see what it looks like once you get all your vegetables and everything um, placed in here. Um, you just, you know, and, and as far as the vegetables, you can put in this whatever vegetables you want. Um, I mixed together the other day um, some of the Thrive carrots, um, corn, peas, and green beans um, for my husband um, so I'll just use some of that that he hadn't eaten up yet but you can you know tweak this to whatever way that you want for you and your family um, but I just wanted to come back on and bring you on and show you what it looks like I'm about to add the cream soup um, and some cheese and I will bring you back when I'm ready to get it in the oven Hey guys just wanted to bring you back um let you see what is about to go in the oven and all i did here was just um i added some mozzarella cheese stirred it into the tuna casserole and then just sprinkled some um uh, more on the top here and i'm going to put it in the oven on 375 um and not long because it's already cooked so you're just putting it in the oven for the cheese to melt and brown a little on the top so i will keep bring you guys back when it's time to plate this up and eat well hello guys I am back and as you can see tuna casserole is finished so I've just let it brown um, let it cool off some I'm going to plate some up I like a lot of cheese so put a nice little amount of cheese Now let's taste it and see. Let me move that out of the way. See? And it's yummy. Um, you can make a side salad to go with this. Um, most of the time I don't. Sometimes I do. Um, I just eat it, you know, on its own. Um, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh yeah this right here <laughs> so much flavor so good this is something I used to make my kids my daughters when they were little because it was a meal that was inexpensive to make and I can just stretch it <laughs> that they can eat off of this and then freeze some and microwave it later and you know, it's just always something that they really enjoyed. Um, and I normally did make like some herb and garlic um, bread um, with it. So I think I have some in the freezer. So I'm going to pull out a couple of those and finish this off. So thank you guys for joining me today and allowing for me to be a part of the pantry challenge. I'll see you guys soon.